Hello! Ako po si Bishop Broderick Pabilio, Apostolic Administrator ng Archdiocese of Manila. Sa darating na Sabado, February 6, ay formal nating bubuksan sa Archdiocese of Manila ang pagdiriwang natin ng 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Kinabukasan nito, February 7, araw ng linggo, ay sa ating mga parokya naman ito gagawin. Magandang tandaan na ang focus ng taon na ito ay Missio Agentes, Mission to the Peoples, ang ating misyon sa sambayanan. Sa pagbubukas natin ng 500 year celebration, ito ay gusto nating pagtuunan ng pansin. Kaya may dalawang bagay na gagawin tayo upang maalaala natin na may misyon tayo. Una, Magsuot tayo ng ating 500 years mission cross. Ibabalik natin ang ating magandang tradisyon bilang mga Katoliko na magsuot ng cross. Ito ay sagisag ng identity natin at pananampalataya kay Jesus. Pero ngayong taon, ito ay magiging tanda ng ating pagtugon sa misyon. The cross will be our badge of mission. We give our yes to mission. Makikita natin sa Mission Cross ang pangalan ni Jesus na nakasulat sa Roman alphabet at sa ating sinaunang baybayin. Ito ay simbolo ng pagtatagpo ng ating kultura at pananampalatayang Kristiyano na ang simbahan ay kaagapay sa pagbunlad ng buhay ng tao. Nakasulat naman sa likod ang pangalan ni Maria, ang ating mahal na ina, na hindi mawawala sa dibusyon ng mga Pilipino. Sisikapin ng ating mga parokya at mga komunidad na ipalaganap ang ating Mission Cross. Maibahagi ito lalo na sa mga mahihirap nating mga kapatid upang maramdaman nilang kasama sila sa 500 year celebration. Let us bring back this beautiful tradition. Let us wear our mission cross and give our yes to mission. Ikalawa, aawitin natin bilang recessional song sa lahat ng misa ang ating official mission song na We Give Our Yes, composed by our very own Father Carlo Magno Marcelo at inamit ni Jamie Rivera. Ang kanta na ito ay magpapaalaala na dapat sa atin ng ating pagtugon sa misyon. We give our yes to mission. Kaya ang tawag natin dito ay mission song. Dahil tuwing aawitin natin ito, dapat mapukaw sa damdamin natin na tayo ay tinatawag ni Jesus na tumugon sa kanyang misyon. At ano ang tugon natin? We give our yes. Sa pagbubukas natin sa Archdiocese of Manila, inihikayat ko ang lahat na gawin ang dalawang bagay na ito. Suotin ang ating mission cross at awitin ang ating mission song. Kung gagawin ang lahat ito, magiging mabunga lalo na ang mga darating pang mga activities 
sa isang taong pagdiriwang natin ng 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Huwag kalimutan, i-like, i-follow at i-share ang official Facebook page ng 500 Years of Christianity, Archdiocese of Manila. To your mission, Lord, we give our yes. Before the Mass, prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass, Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect.
We have some announcements. Starting February 21, we will have an additional 10.15 a.m. Mass every Sunday. Please use the entry at Greenbelt 5 if you wish to come much earlier. Mission crosses are now available at the chapel office for 80 pesos each. We of the cross pamphlets are also available at the chapel office for only 30 pesos. Please all kneel and let us pray the Le prayer for Lenten renewal. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. God of all mercy and goodness, to heal the wounds our sins and selfishness bring upon us, you bid us to turn to prayer, sacrifice, and sharing with our brothers and sisters. We acknowledge our sinfulness, our guilt is ever before us. When our weakness causes us discouragement, let your compassion fill us with hope. Change our selfishness into self-giving. Turn hatred to love, conflict to peace. Accept the fruits of our sacrifices and charity and lead us through a length of repentance to the beauty of Easter joy, where after sharing in Christ's sufferings, we will also share in his everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be all be seated. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is February 19, and we are on the fifth week in ordinary time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Rani Heraldino. Please all stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend. Though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply are you lost. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, 
Cry out full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways. Like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day, you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked glow. Would that today you might fast as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This rather is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rare God. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin. Cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices, should I offer a burnt offering you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, 
but your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guest mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon also to those who are joining us online. We are on the Friday after Ash Wednesday, and this is the first Friday of Lent. I think that is the reason why the readings, both the first and the gospel reading, talk about fasting. Because in our practice, all Fridays of Lent, we also have to observe abstinence. As part of our fasting, in the observance of Lent. And this fasting that is presented to us in the readings is not talking about diet nor food. Have you noticed that? It's not talking about lessening the amount of your food intake nor refraining from your favorite foods but rather, it transposes to a higher level our understanding of fasting. It presents to us the true essence of fasting, a type of fasting that is really pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. And that is specifically mentioned in the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the Lord was criticizing the people. Yes, they were so faithful in observing fasting, yet their fasting ends in what? In quarreling, in fighting, in striking with wicked clothes. Their fasting is a mere ritual and not able to transform them to become better, loving, and godlike persons. That's why in the first reading, Isaiah further describes what fasting is pleasing in the eyes of God. He said here, this rather is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the tongues of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own etc etc it's a long list of charitable works works of mercy not involving any diet nor food in the list so what does this now tell us this tells us that the true outcome or fruit of fasting is charity. Remember, the message of Lenten season calls us to return to God. Why? Where have we been this time? Bakit tayo nawala sa Diyos? Because we are always safe and complacent in ourselves. So we are called to return to God, to depart from ourselves. And the way, the route, the path to God is our neighbors. So when we return to God, it means we return to our brothers and sisters, most especially 
the less fortunate, the weakest and the least, the lost and the last among us. I am reminded of one great father of the church. He said this beautiful quote, We fast so that others may feast. We fast so that others may feast. I believe some of us would take the opportunity this time to fast. For what reason? Again, to the self, so that I will be slimmer, I will be sexier, I will be healthier. It again points to the self. It does not depart from the self going to, to God through our neighbors. So what should be our motive? I fast. So whatever I save in not engaging into my favorite foods, or vices, no, I set aside and donate to charity. That is what the Lord wills. All our sacrifices should never point to ourselves to becoming self-righteous, feeling good because you have been no, obedient to the law of the church and to the law of God. All mortifications and sacrifices should point to others who need our, our assistance, who need our love. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, the main message that I leave to you on this Friday after Ash Wednesday is this. Let us fast from sin and let us be fast in, do, in doing charity. And that is the most pleasing sacrifice for the Lord. And that is the best way to observe this Lenten spirit of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us fast from sin and let us be fast in doing charity. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest. That's a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. My dear friends, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Through Christ who gives me strength But sometimes I wonder what He can do through me No great success to show 
no glory of my own yet in my weakness he is there to let me know his strength is perfect when our strength is gone he'll carry us when we can't carry on raised in his power the weak become strong his strength is perfect his strength is perfect we can only know the power that he holds when we truly see how deep our weakness grows his strength in us begins when ours comes to an end he hears a humble cry and Let us all kneel and recite the Oracho Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please all stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. 
For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. It's time for us to make our dreams come true. A guiding voice will tell us what to do. It's the time to change ourselves and show the world that we still care. 